Hey guys, this is Joe, and today I'm here with a game called Welkin Road, a recently released kind of puzzle parkour game, which I believe involves kind of using grappling hooks and all your parkour skills to get to the end of the map. Looks like we have spawned into this kind of beautiful world here. And uh, just a little heads up, I, uh, I'm actually using a controller for this, which means I've had to use like a third party application because I don't think this game supports controller support. Uh, so I'm going to be using that. I kind of find with like parkour games in general using the keyboard is really difficult for me. Um, having to kind of run and jump and crouch all at the same time and I'm just really bad at it. So uh, I've kind of put a controller in so let's see how we get on. Alright, we are getting tips in the top corner that we can look at. But uh, let's just keep going forward for now. Alright, so let's see what this one says. When you fall you can wait or time to respawn by pressing B. Okay. I think this is all... F oh god, I've already jumped off. <laughs> Great start. Alright, let's see. So, I don't really know much about this game. I only know that it's kind of like a parkour style game. And uh, I have played like a first person parkour game before. In fact, I've played a couple of them, if you include like Mirror's Edge, I guess. But uh, there is a great indie game called Lemma, which is a kind of parkour puzzle platformer game. And I had to kind of duck on that one to get all there. Looks like we're going to have to duck again mid-air. There we go. Straight into the gap. Oh, looks like there's a platform below us. Ah, there we go. We made it. Alright, we landed on that. Okay, so now we've got this little kind of pole, I guess. This little section. And uh, I can actually... Oh, fuck. I can actually walk on this. By holding down the walk key. There we go. I'm gonna kind of walk up to the end here. And it uh, looks like I can actually just run along this section here. Hopefully don't fall off. Nice, we made it. So this is basically just teaching you the basics of parkour right now. I think I can actually run along the wall here. There we go. Oh wait, what is this one? Aha, yeah we can actually run along the wall and go down on this one I think. Huh. Nice! can't believe I actually made that. That was such a tight jump. Alright, now I've got some tricky stuff. Let me see if we can get on this. There we go. Now I've got to try and jump on this pole here. It might be a little difficult. Can I get on there? Oh, fuck! Yeah, very tight. Very, very tight one, but luckily the respawn puts us right there, so that's good. Alright, looks like we've got another section up ahead. And we made it. Nice. Okay, what is this one? This might be a wall jump. Let me double check that. Press space when colliding with wall takes you to wall jump. Alright, so it looks like we have to like... Oh, I didn't make it. I think it's like on the opposite side. Oh yeah, that's really tough to make, that is. Alright, let's see if we can like... There we go! We'll just go backwards onto the wall. <laughs> we did it at least. Again, it's very tough to kind of make these jumps. I'm probably kind of hindering myself by not using the mouse and keyboard, but uh, I'll tell you, this is just easier for me. It's just so much more, as long as I'm not falling off like an idiot. What have I got to do here? Let me check this one. You can retain control while falling or jumping. All right, use the movement. Is the uh, platform around that corner? Oh, okay. There we go. So it looks like you can actually control yourself in mid-air to kind of fall onto certain aspects of it. There we go. Let's keep going. I've got to say, it does kind of actually control pretty well, you know. Pulling all these mechanics together, it does seem to be working. Oh, is this uh, another one? But it's like right below... Oh, it is right below me. Oh, I only just made that. That was tense. Alright, run and crouch. What's on this one down here? Same thing again, but luckily we made it. Okay, I've got a big jump here, I think. Alright, nicely done. Alright, what is this one? The grappling glove. Alright, so with the grappling glove, we can kind of grab onto these orbs and like swing across. You'll see these kind of little indicators that you can actually swing on these. And you can use left hand, or you can use right hand, or you can use both. Of course, you have to wait for them to recharge. So, uh, let's see if we can... Uh, there we go. Use the old left hand on that one. 
And on this one. Nicely done. Alright, let's see if we can get on to this one. Huh, can I make it? We did. Nice. Alright, so let's see if we can get on this one. Can I make it? Come on. There we go. We've got a bit more leverage on that swing because we used both. Okay, looks like we've got another one here. Oh. Oh. I'm going to hang on. Maybe get a bit of a swing going. Oh god, I'm going all the way over, I think. I think I might have overreached that one. Alright. Trying to think of the best way to do this. Might maybe swing forward, back and forth. Here we go. Let's try it. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Nice. You have to let go at that at the exact time. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> Tried to get on onto it, but... I was trying to get on with the right hand there because it's just easier to grab and it kind of seemed like the platform was on the left so you use the right hand. What is this one here? While grappling a knob, use the movement key to adjust direction and speed of your swing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you can just like latch on and basically just kind of swing across this way. Nice. Alright, we've got another one here. Straight through the gap. Nicely done there. We're actually making good progress. Alright, let's... Oh, fuck. Come on, am I gonna make it? There we go. Alright. What's this one gonna tell us to do? Change direction, alright. Alright, there it is. Oh man, I probably should have done I probably could have made the jump there actually, but Alright, let's just slow it down a little bit here. Alright, here we go. Let's get the swing going. Oh no! Yeah, I messed that one up pretty bad actually. Alright, this time. Okay, I could probably get the speed up there, but I don't want to do that. I'm gonna all right, try and level it out. Oh my god! <laughs> All right, there we go. Let's try and get this. Let's try and get the speed going. Build up the swing. Build up the swing. That's got to do it. Nice. We'll go the old double. All right. So with this one, we have to actually shorten it. So it's like. There's some keys that you can use to like shorten the wire that you're hanging from. Come on. There we go. Should probably use both actually, but it's okay. Nice. Alright, what's this one? Jump to the left or to the right of an orb, then grapple it to form a circular swing. Hold forward and the shave button that points away from the orb the arc to swing to gain even more speed. Huh. Okay, that kind of <laughs> kind of worked. Come on! No! Ah! Oh, should have been able to grab onto that. I don't think you can though. Yeah, I messed that up again. Oops, keep falling off on this one. And again. Alright. How <laughs> did you just ran off the edge there? I was like, oh, why not? What am I doing wrong here? Jump to the right of the orb, then turn towards it and grapple it. Okay. Alright, that kind of worked actually. Oh god, I just, <laughs> I just ran off the edge. Oh. Maybe I should use my right hand here. Alright, we kind of landed on it. We kind of landed on it. Oh, this one's a big one. That I didn't grab onto. Why did that not work? Come on. 
There it was, big swing but we made it in the end. Oh no, we've got double swings now it looks like. After disconnecting a grappling glove needs to recharge its energy and cannot be used for a short while. Use a second glove while the first... Oh okay, yeah, that makes sense actually. There we go, oh god, can I actually make it though? Oh, right idea but just timing was just wrong on it. Can I lower this? I think I'm lowering it. There we go. Alright, now let's just get the swing in. We're taking this a bit slow, but better safe than sorry, I guess. Alright, now we made it around the corner. Looks like we've got a couple of other things to do. Nice, nice, come on. Oh man, we're getting this down. What is this one? Just a straight run across? Okay. Now we're just like incorporating everything it seems. Oh my god. Here we go. First try! No! Come on! Oh! Made it! That was awesome! Is there... Wait, where the hell am I going now? I don't think there's anything below me. Can I actually climb up there? It's red. Unless it's like back this way. Oh god. Oh, it's on the other side. <laughs> oh, that's a... Alright, that's a tough one. I'm not going to run on this one. There we go. Jesus. Oh my fucking god, what? All right, I guess we'll do our best. And we fucked up the first one. That's a good sign, guys. That means we're doing well. Let's just uh, try that one more time. <laughs> Messed up again. All right, screw it. Oh, oh my god, I think we did like a full 360. Am I still hanging on to this thing? I can't even see where I'm hanging on at the moment. All right, here we go. I can see where we've got to go. No! You've got to be really precise on this, by the way. You can't just like... Oh, the recharge! <laughs> the recharge! I fucked up. I thought it didn't take into consideration the recharge time. Oh, that was like a proper Spider-Man style swing. That was nice, dude. What the fuck? How am I supposed to get on that shit? That is... sucky. Wait, what the hell? Did it like... Did the, my Okay. Uh. Oh, dude. That is not easy. This one sucks. Oh, let me go up a little bit here. Maybe I can, like, crouch onto it? Or maybe I can actually swing onto it, but like... I don't know, dude. Oh, yeah! I landed on it by using the uh, up and down commands on the... on the actual... on the actual hooks. That's good. Very tight one, though. I did not like that one. Especially because I'm using a controller. Although I think I would have, I wouldn't think I'd even be this far without it, to be honest with you. I would, I would be sucking on the keyboard. Sometimes a puzzle requires different jump and grapple timing. The edge of the platform is not always the best place to jump from. Hmm. That kind of makes sense. You know what I mean? Like, maybe like come from this side. Something like that. 
Ah, whatever, you've got to make sure that, like... Come on, dude! That is very far away. <laughs> Let's see if we can do this. Yeah, that's a tough one to do. It's like... Well, I had the right idea, but I think I just like, hit that other one a bit too late there. Fuck you. Come on. Oh, come on! Alright, this is the one. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Is there anything else? No, it's just the same one. Okay, I'm standing on top of the orb. What? <laughs> Alright, let's just go down. We'll, we'll lower ourselves. This will do it, maybe. Yeah, we've got it down. Nice! <laughs> oh my god. What the hell? Oh. Come on, let's get both on. Okay, maybe not. Come on, go up. There we go. Oh, come on, dude. That's such a tight squeeze. Why is it not going off? There we go. Guess it works on this one. Oh. Oh, shit. That's a big one. Alright. Okay, now what the hell is this? Go up! Up! Okay, we made it. Now what though? Do we have to go around that side? Because I haven't even touched that one. I think I do, because I don't think I can reach that. What the hell, man? Ah, oh, there it is. Didn't see that one. It all makes sense now. Oh god, I need to stop fucking at these aiming. Spider Man it! What kind of Spider Man it? Alright, let me try and slow this down a little bit, get a bit of a swing going. Come on. Is this the one? There we go. Alright, when grappling, the longer the grappling beam is, the more speed you'll gain. For the fastest thing, try to grab your from as far away as possible. <laughs> Alright, well, that did not work. Um, yeah, something's going terribly wrong here.
Hmm. This is a tough one. Come on. Oh, God. I hit the damn wall, like roof on my head. Unless it's like you have to grapple it like... Oh, I thought I had that then, you know. <laughs> That's a very, very tight one to do. Come on! Oh, what? I don't even know how I did that. Come on! Oh, first try, like first try on that one. That was nice. If you grapple an orb while you're above it, the beam will put you back instead of give you momentum. Or try to jump such a way that you end up grappling an orb. Oh, okay. That makes sense, I guess. Oh, I guess we've got to do a lot of wall jumping here. It's one of those back and forth style jobs. Alright, what's this one? The speed of a swing depends on your velocity and position in the movement of grappling it. If you're approaching an orb with primarily downward movement, grapple it while you're level with it. Oh, dude, I thought I made that then. That's a bit shitty. God, come on. There we go. Straight through the gap again. Ah, oh, that's a tough one to make because you've got no velocity on this one, so it's like you've got to. There we go. Nice. Very tough. To reach orbs that seem out of range, focus on jumping at the last possible moment. Since you're constantly moving forward, the later you try grappling the orb, the closer to it you'll be. Keep aiming at it and grappling once you're in range. Okay, makes sense. Come on! Oh, that was a nice big swing, that was. That felt good. Awesome stuff. And I guess we've reached the end. Hey, nice! Alright, so that took me like 20 minutes to do. And we got a C rank? God damn. Oh, I got those, this five secrets and I didn't get any? Oh, that's pissed me off. I didn't even realise there was secrets. Damn, I'm going to have to play through this again and try and get a better ranking. But yeah, that was a really good experience, guys. I really enjoyed it. Um, really good stuff. Next level, O2. Probably not going to do this now, I'll probably save this one until next time, but uh, here we go. Really cool looking level. This definitely seems like it's a game that's got a lot of potential for really cool stuff. Um, I believe there's already like a focus on speedrunning. Like, I think there's actually a mode with like, you know, the focus is to beat it as fast as possible. At the moment, we're just kind of free running it, just going through the levels and just trying to get from one section to the next. But uh, it's like we've even got different colored orbs over here, so that's going to be interesting to play. But yeah, there it is, guys. Really interesting game. Definitely recommend checking it out. Thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, we'll definitely play more of this, I think. A uh, really cool concept of a game. Plays really well, controls really well. Um, looks like there's a lot of stuff like you can do, like just with the physics, and uh, I'm excited to see exactly what more we can do as we play more levels. But there it is. See you next time, guys.